Hello and welcome to my kitchen. Today, yes, it's Thursday. So I'm in the kitchen cooking for you today two recipes because I thought they go so well together and they're both so simple. And of course, the whole theme for this year is really easy recipes. So what are we making? Well, we're going into book one for both recipes. So the first one we're gonna make is pumpkin soup there which who doesn't love pumpkin soup? It's cold outside. Yes, give me my pumpkin soup, please. But I'm also gonna make, which is down here and in the picture, I'm gonna make simple damper. It's so good to make it and it's so fun. So we'll start with the soup first, so I don't confuse you and then we'll get into the damper. Now the pumpkin soup is also in book, uh, Cooking One or Two. So you can make it either serves six or actually I think it serves three. Yeah. So. This is a great idea for people on their own. You know, you think, oh, I can't be bothered to make soup for myself. Well, you just make half this recipe and you'll get serves three. And I mean, you'd eat it three times in a row or whatever, wouldn't you? So let's look at the ingredients we need for this amazing pumpkin soup. Now, most times pumpkin soup can be actually very high in fat because they'll cook it in butter and then they'll add cream. So this is a, a good, just a nice pumpkin soup that has only 38 calories and 0.2 grams of fat. So it could be one you could make and even have as snacks if you're hungry during the day. And I mean, sometimes it's nice to have that little bit of soup, isn't it, on these cold months. So what we need to start with is, I do favour my Kent pumpkin, I must say, I do like Kent. And I really want you to, when you're picking a pumpkin, get as orange as possible uh, because it'll be sweeter. So we want 500 grams of peeled pumpkin. We've got a large carrot and two onions. We also put in some nutmeg, a bit of pepper, some stock powder and water. That is it for the soup. And I'll get into the, um, the damper after, all right? So what we first have to do is basically do a bit of chopping. All right, so with the pumpkin and all this, it just goes straight into your pot or your boiler. Um, I normally use a boiler, but just because of the show, I'm going to use the wok with the glass lid, just so you can see what I'm doing. But when I'm zhuzhing it, because you know you can either put in a food processor or use your stick blender, um, I'm going to um, put it in a boiler because it, it would splatter everywhere otherwise. So you've peeled your pumpkin. Dice it up and we just bring it to the boil and simmer it. So this is probably your easiest soup that you're going to get that's homemade. All right. You could actually, if you wanted to mix it up a little bit, instead of using all pumpkin, you could swap it, do half sweet potato, or you could do the whole thing, a sweet potato soup, or you could even um, do half pumpkin and a little bit, the other half of parsnip and swede, if you want to just mix up your flavours with your soup. Just some ideas there. Now we've got sliced carrots. So I'm just going to go down the middle. Ugh. And then just no technique here. Just chop it all up, chuck it in the pot and cook it, which is my catch cry, isn't it? Here we are. In goes the carrot. And lastly, we've just got to chop up and dice up the onion. Look at that one, that's a bit... Let's cut that a little bit thinner. Thanks for joining me today. Look, oh, I know it's a, a beautiful day here in the Sunshine Coast, but it's cold and soup and crusty bread. Does it get any better? Well, today you're going to learn how to make your own 
damper that's basically, once again, you put it all in the bowl and just mix it together. Very simple recipes. So I do have my oven preheated for the damper and it's 180 degrees, okay? Because while this is cooking, I'll be making the damper and cooking that as well. Because the damper does take uh, quite a bit of time. You could even actually start to do the damper first and while it's in there you could make your soup. I just want to start with the soup first. I'm going to put a little bit of nutmeg in it, only half a teaspoon, but it really does go so nicely with pumpkin. And I'm all about flavour. Just because I've taken all the fat out and I'm not adding cream or I'm not putting a big chunk of, of butter in here, you know, doesn't mean that it's not going to have flavour. I just want to mix, mix all the veggies up. There we go. So veggies done. I say quickest soup ever. I mean homemade. So much better and so much cheaper than buying it in a can. Nutmeg, half a teaspoon. Two teaspoons of the stock powder, and I'm using the vegetable stock powder for this recipe. So it's like a vegan recipe as well. Let's do some cracked pepper. And four cups of water. Let's turn, crank this up. There we go, put that in my soapy sink. How easy was this soup? Mix it all through. Let's put the lid on. Want it to boil. All right, so we're done with these, but so I don't get confused, let's move them over here. All right. Okay, soup done. Now, actually, did you know that I have a total, I've added it up just before we came on, 29 soups. Yes, if you love soup, I have you covered. Because we love soup. Bill and I have soup most nights. We normally have our main meal at dinner time. Um, at lunchtime, I'm sorry. What did I say, dinner time? We normally have our main at lunchtime. Because we work from home as well, it's really easy for us. But I think when we hit our mid-60s, we decided we would be better having the bigger meal at lunchtime so it's got all the afternoon and the whatever to wear off. And then we tend to do soup. And we nearly always make it ourselves because once you get homemade soup into your life, there's no going back. All right, so I'm going to move this over here and let it do what it needs to do. It's got to boil and then you bring it down to a simmer. So I'll be watching you. Oh, yes, I will. All right, so now, now we've done the pumpkin soup. Let's talk about simple damper. All right. This is basically another one of those recipes where you chuck it all in the, the bowl, give it a mix and you're good to go. So I'm going to sift in here three cups of self-raising flour. Okay. You're going to use one egg white, a teaspoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt because that helps give the flavour to the bread. So that goes in. Teaspoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, one egg white. Let me get my little wooden spoon out. Just mix that all through. You don't need to wait for this bread 
to rise or do anything. It just goes into this loaf tin, which I'm going to coat because there's the fabulous ingredient that makes this work. Wait a minute. I'm just going to grease the tin. Can you believe it? But it's beer. That's right. 375 mils of beer. That's what will give you all the yeast and everything like that in this bread to make it work. I know. I found this recipe out through my friend of mine who had a boat. And it actually was called boat bread. Because when you're out to sea, you know, you're not going to get fresh bread, are you? So we're going to put this in. Now, can I just say what I'm doing here is just going to pour it in and just mix it up. There we go. Now, I'm experimenting today. I'm a little bit excited because I'm actually making it this time with alcohol-free beer. I know. I don't know if it's going to work. We both think it will, don't we, Bill? Mm -hmm. But we could be very wrong. Because I just thought it'd be good to know if it worked using um, a um, non-alcoholic beer because not everyone can drink the beer or want the beer in it. And so I thought I'd, I'd try it on the show today. So you can use a normal beer. That's what the recipe's all about, yeah? But today, I am trailblazing and using non-alcoholic beer. Looking pretty good, actually. Oh, my gosh. We're getting hot here. Whew. Let's do this. All right, so the beer looks like it's working really well. Yep. How's my, has it boiled yet? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it in. Well, it's clump it in, maybe not pour it in. And we're going to bake this. Takes, well, it actually takes about an hour. But my oven's a bit quick, so I'll be checking it. And I'm going to now just push that bread into the crevices. Oh my gosh, I hope it works. If not, disregard <laughs> and use normal beer. But I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the oven. I think that looks good. Going to put it in the oven. There it is, done. I mean, easiest bread ever. Fingers crossed it works. Otherwise, as I said, just use normal beer. In it goes, 180 degrees. I'm going to do it for 55 because I just want to check, you know, just make sure it's okay. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to cook this, I'm going to bring it to the boil. Oh, nearly there. And then I will bring it down to a simmer and I'll simmer it for probably 20, 25 minutes. Really what it is, is it's about getting everything cooked and soft. Because you want the pumpkin and the carrot and the onion all soft so that when I zhuzh it, it becomes nice and smooth. So really, you want to maybe kind of overcook it a little bit so you get that smoothness to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back um, when the bread's ready, the soup will be ready, and we can see it all in, all in its glory. So thanks, I'll be back shortly. Hi there, and welcome back. Now, before I forget, I must tell you something that's a bit fabulous. My next six week winter weight loss challenge is starting on the 19th of June. You have to be there because it's going to be fantastic. And I've just finished the delicious menu plans and I think you're going to really love the meals. Look, head over to the website to check out what's included because you're going to love it. Let's get ready for summer now. Go to simplytogood.com.au forward slash membership. All right, so soup's done. So I just got to get my very, very old Barmex blender. 
into zhuzhet because I like pumpkin soup smooth. And this is the damper. I know. So let's tip it out. It's cooked. Actually, I might just do this. There we go. Put that over in my soapy sink. So look at this the damper. Isn't it fabulous? I mean, it's very rustic because that's what damper is. Um, and this makes enough for 12, uh, 10 slices. So you get a nice piece with your soup or two pieces, depending how you want to do it. All right, so while I'm leaving that to settle, I'm going to use your soup. Now you can see I swapped it over from the wok into the boiler because a boiler is really the way to do soup. Even though this is a small soup, it only makes enough for six serves. It really um, does work well when you're making soup. All right, so I've got my blender. I'm going to just try and juice up the carrot, the pumpkin, the onion. Get it smooth. And by being in the big pot, it helps, um, you know, when you're not getting it splattered everywhere. Because it's hot. I don't want to get burnt by the soup. So I hope you try these because the damp is fun. I, it looks like it's worked with the non-alcoholic beer, which is great because neither Bill or I drink. So we can partake of the simple damper now. Taking my time because I want to smooth it all up. Now, if you wanted to make this a creamy soup, you could add some evaporated milk to it. That's if you wanted it to be a creamy soup, yeah? I don't want it to be a creamy soup. I just want to be loving the pumpkin. Oh, look at this. Yes, please. And do you remember what I said? 38 calories for a serve. Oh my gosh, there's my soup. Oh, it smells great because I love pumpkin. I don't know about you. So let's put that there. I'm going to, I know the, um, the bread's just come out of the oven, but I'm going to try and slice it. Because I want you to see how it looks inside. Let's see, it's a bit fresh to be cutting because it's still warm. There's our soup. Let's give it a go. Oh, look at that slicing, all right. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. Oh, I love a crusty bread. There it is. Simple damper, done in minutes. That's right. So they're both out of book one. So if you want to win book one, and also I'm going to give you the Cooking Funnel 2 book because it has the smaller version of the soup if you want to just make three serves of the pumpkin soup, okay? <clears throat> so there's that. Now, if you want to, what you have to do? Can you remember? If you like, you share, and in the comments, hashtag simply too good. That's right. Put that in and you could be the winner of two books next week. How cool is that? Now, next week's show, I'm going to do a favourite. I think it's so yum and it can be very high in sodium or salt. So for people with diabetes, this is a really great version of Mongolian lamb. Oh, who doesn't love a good feed of that? So I'm going to make that on the show next week. And it's in book three and more cooking for one or two. So it's a really great recipe. Now, look, if you want any more tips or recipes, please check out the fantastic winter challenge. It's going to be awesome. That's on simplytogood.com.au and of course slash membership for the program. I mean, who knew weight loss could be so deliciously healthy? Gosh, I've made homemade soup. I've made my own bread. Didn't even get a sweater. Fabulous. Anyway, thanks for joining me this week. I'll catch you next week. Mongolian lamb. Take care. Bye now.